How's it going Smashers, I'm Dat Smash Bro, and welcome to the Move Set Ideas series. With each new installment of Smash Brothers, there's a lot of new combatants for everyone to enjoy. For this series, I do move set creations and predictions for potential newcomers. And for this video, we will be looking over a character who is a flamboyant sword spirit demon of demise, known as Diram. Lord Diram is one of the antagonists of the Zelda franchise. He debuted in the game title, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on November 11, 2011 for the Nintendo Wii. For the first encounters with Link, Diram is shown to be kinda curious and at ease with him. But as the story goes on, he becomes a sadistic blood-thirsting maniac. As said earlier, he is the sword spirit of his handler or master in this case, Demise. Throughout the game, he needs to sacrifice Zelda in order for Demise to be resurrected. Ever since his debut to the public eyes, he became a fan favorite among Zelda players. He really hasn't made other major appearances in a mainline Zelda game. However, he did manage to become a playable character in the spin-off game, Hyrule Warriors. Although he did show up in both Smash 4 and Ultimate as an assist trophy, the question is this. What if Girahim was converted into a playable fighter in Smash? I've managed to put together an entire move set for him, and I've also made an illustration of it all so people can have a visual understanding on how the character's fighting style could perform in the game. Disclaimer, what you are about to see is not an official move set by the Smash developers or Sakurai's company. This was made for fun and speculating. While I did made this to be as accurate as possible, the whole move set could be changed if the character were to be included in future installments. So folks, without further ado, um... Um, I don't know what to say. No not licking lips or sticking out our tongues. You know what? I got nothing. So let's just get into the move set of Giram. I swear the guy is so weird. Giram and Smash will bring with him the moves he does in the Zelda games. He will also be performing a few physical attacks here, while most of his attacks is him using his sword and magic abilities. On his size, he will be taller than the average sword fighters in Smash. His running speed can be on the same pace as Marth's. Despite his height, he will be a lightweight fighter. While performing attacks, the images will either be him attacking in a fabulous way or an aggressive way. For his jab attack, he does a finger jab attack, followed by a sword slash, and ends it with another sword slash attack. This is his basic combo that he performs on the ground. It is good enough to rack up damage. For his front tilt, he does a sideways slash attack again. This, however, is stronger than his jab attack. It can knock back on low percent and KO at a high percent. For his up tilt attack, he swipes his sword above him. This is used as a combo starter on low percent. This can also KO at a high percent as well. The hitbox of this move is great enough to knock the fighter into the air. For his down tilt, he thrusts his sword forward at a low angle. This move will not have a pop-up effect. Instead, it will knock back the fighters. Only two of his basic ground attacks here will KO, while the others will be good to rack up in damage. Now that we've gotten through his basic ground attacks, let's go on up to his basic aerial attacks. For his aerials, he will be using his demon sword three times. For his neutral air, he swipes his sword in a circular motion around him. This is the normal attack that knock back or potentially KO the fighters from both sides. For Girahim's front air, he swipes his sword in front of him. This attack can be used as a follow-up or a KO option attack. The speed of this move is fast. For his back air, he performs a back kick behind him. This move will have a delay to it because it is one of his strongest aerial attacks here. This can KO at a high percentage. For his up air, he once again swipes his demon sword above him. The same effects as his up tilt. And now, for the down air for Girahim, he transforms into his sword form and drops downwards. The sword here is Girahim's true form. This attack can also spike the opponents downward if done at a proper angle. The back air and down air are his strongest aerial attacks, while the front and up air is more likely used to finish off the other fighters. For his dash attack, he swipes his blade in front of him again. This is similar to his front air, but this move is more powerful. This can KO. 
Alrighty now, let's go on over to his smash attacks. For two of Girahim's smash attacks, he will be wielding a different weapon for both of them, his broadsword. He uses this weapon in his final battle with Link and in Hyrule Warriors. So, to go through them, his forward smash attack is him swinging his broadsword in front of him. This sword is one of his strongest weapons he uses. This attack will launch and KO the opponents at a high damage percentage. The speed of this move can be normal to balance things out. For his up smash, he summons a secondary demon sword and swipes both of them above him. This is similar to Greninja's up smash. The difference is the length of the swords. This smash attack can hit the fighters on the ground as well. For his down smash attack, he slams his broadsword on the ground, causing dark energy to spark on both sides. This attack, just like the forward smash attack, can launch and kill the other fighters at a high percentage. This smash attack can also give him armor properties. Okay, now that we are done with his smash attacks, let's make things more interesting with his specials. For his neutral special, he uses his skyward strike attack. This is an attack that he also uses in the final battle with Link. The sword beam speed will be a bit slow like in the games. If this move connects, it will stun the opponent while also damaging them. This move will have a delay to it due to him building up the attack. If you use this attack again right after the first one, instead of the sword beam being in a vertical position, it will be in a horizontal disc position. This attack will have little launch power to it. It is more likely used to halt the other fighters. For his side special attack, he uses his diamond blades. He summons the dagger-like blades by snapping his finger. You can move on the stage with the diamond blades hovering in front of you. If you press left and B for a second time, he will send the blades forward. This attack has another mechanic. If you use his side special while standing in front of the other fighter, the diamond blades will instead hover around the opponent. In the Skyward Sword game, he can do this from afar, but in Smash Brothers, he need to be directly in front of the other player. For the attack itself, this has a multi-hit effect on it. The blades itself can act as a shield. One more thing about this move. The blades will only hover in front of you for about 5 in-game seconds until he automatically launches them. For his recovery, he teleports. This is how Girahim gets around easily. He also does this during the fights. In Smash, this will act as a basic recovery for Girahim. You can change the directions of the move by moving the left analog stick in four directions. You should be careful with this, because teleporting can put Girahim in a vulnerable position. For Girahim's down special attack, he has a counter. Instead of making him just swing his blade, I've gave him something different. If any move connects with him while in the counter phase, he will transform into his sword form and impale the opponent. When this happens, the fighter will fall onto the floor instead of getting launched. This move can be really devastating if hit with a powerful attack. If the opponent's damage percentage is over 120 when this move hits, Girahim will instantly KO the fighter. He can use his forward smash attack as a follow-up attack. Okay folks, we are finished with his specials, let's go to his grabs. So for most of Girahim's attacks, he is in his normal form. But for the grab attacks, he will be in his final form. He does three melee attacks and one sword attack for the grabs here. So to go through them, his forward throw is him punching the fighter forward. For his back throw, he kicks the fighter behind him. For his up throw attack, he uppercuts the fighter into the air. And for his down throw, he puts the fighter on the ground and stabs his broadsword into them. The front, back, and up throw will KO the fighter at a high damage percent. His down throw, however, will not have a pop-up effect. Instead, it will leave them on the ground, in which you can use either the forward or down smash attack as a follow-up. And now, let's finish this presentation with his final smash. For Girahim's final smash, he can summon his master, Demise. He can transform into his sword form, and Demise will launch powerful attacks all over the stage. He will end the attack with a lightning bolt skyward strike attack. At a high percentage, the fighters will be KO. For his stage, it can be the sealed grounds. This is located in the Farron region, near the Farron Woods area. This is where Girahim's final confrontation occurs. The players can be fighting on the holographic platforms that Girahim created. There could be other smaller platforms above it. There won't be any other characters in the background for cameos besides Zelda. So folks, what do you think? Pretty interesting, huh? That's all I have for the moveset of Girahim. 
If you have any thoughts or anything you would like to add to this, make sure to put it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications. I also can do video requests for other characters' moveset ideas as well. If interested, you can check out my previous moveset videos I did on this channel. Thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next moveset. Until next time.